My name is Mauro Martinez. I am 29 years old and I'm an artist living in Laredo, Texas. You know, I remember just being in school and, you know, learning different things like history or, or whatever and, you know, I would take notes and jot them down on the side and at the end of the day I, I would just, you know, have this very distinct, you know, vivid memory that I was much more interested in the doodles that I did on the side than the notes that I was taking. I've always been proud of the work that I was making in some way, whether it was because it was a successful painting or because I failed but was able to learn something. I heard about this mural through Facebook for the uh, Rio Grande International Studies Group. Uh, my work doesn't necessarily deal with themes of, of nature, but I definitely wanted to give it a shot because again, it was, it was a challenge, you know, technically and then conceptually to try and take a theme that I wasn't necessarily involved in and try and adopt it and make it my own. After that, I, I remember just bringing a sketch that I was really excited about. I had found this bird. That I, that I really liked as a white collared seed eater, which is what's on the murals now. Um, and I remember liking that particular bird. It's aesthetic, you know, component. It was just this black and white bird with a little bit of beige and yellow. So I think just as an image, it would be really cool. The idea of this bird was that people from all over the world are coming to Laredo to see it. And I just, I liked that idea that the city could hold something of so much value that it would attract worldwide attention. For me to conceptualize this thing or to bring it to, to fruition, I think uh, with most of my work, I mean, I start with just, you know, finding imagery, you know, just hoarding it, just every kind of bird I could find, every position, every color, every pose. I just started to gather images. And then I made a mock-up in Photoshop of the, the dimensions of the wall. And then I started bringing in all the images and just playing with composition, playing with color, seeing what I like. Once I had like a pretty good idea of what I wanted, I made an actual physical, small scaled painting of it and then from there I just you know use technology to blow it up and make it huge. The cultural climate is right. People are educating themselves on the importance of art in, in you know in an urban context or just on the streets or in the home or in the gallery and so I feel like all of these different elements have just been pushing to the surface and now we're at this very ripe time where it's kind of just gonna explode. I do believe that it's a really important um, part of an artist's life cycle. I mean, I think it's important to always be mentored and to mentor somebody at the same time. I think it's just, it's just, it's the right thing to do. There's somebody who has been reaching out to me for, you know, it's been months now, and so we have a back and forth. I feel like I have more of a presence on social media than I do in the city a lot of the times. So this kid, he's from Germany, and he just asks me for, you know, advice, and I'll, sometimes I'll see him sort of taking what I've done and, and trying to replicate it a little bit, and I, I mean, I'm totally flattered, and I think that it's, yeah, it's definitely important to have that sort of influence on the youth. I would say about 90% of my living comes from selling paintings. The amazing thing is, is that, you know, selling one painting or two will carry you over for a couple of months, you know, and in between that time I can just keep making more work. But other than that, I mean, I, I do some freelance, like, design work and stuff like that here and there, you know, just whenever things are getting, like, really, you know, thin and I'm just like, oh, man, I'm getting really hungry, you know, stuff like that. So it's really cool. I mean, it's, 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 it's definitely a balance. I think as cliched or maybe overused as it might sound, I, I would definitely tell people to like not do drugs, you know, don't, don't do drugs. I was a heroin addict for six years and uh, it just took away so much time that I could have invested on, you know, developing and honing my craft and getting better at what I do now. Um, and it's just such an amazing and liberating feeling to know that you can wake up and not have to depend on a substance or somebody receiving your phone call so that you can meet them up and get high.